Okay, it works. Yeah. Oh, this is juggling as you can see, I can juggle and talk at the same time. She's got you mesmerized Or I die Hi guys, I'm Jordan I'm Jason Yu, a singer-songwriter And I'm a busker I've been busking for 7 years And I've been busking for 4 years now Okay, yep Today we'll be playing Spill It Where we spill the tea about how is it like to be a busker in Singapore so I first got into busking about four years ago when one of my friends, like he always knew that I loved performing but then I was never actually doing much performing. And then he said one of his friends started busking at Orchard Road and then he showed me a photo of the crowd. I think in that photo there was about 50 to 100 people there. And like who would ever expect that? So I thought for myself, uh, why not I try it out also. So I started busking because I saw people performing in Sentosa Buskers Festival. We decided like from there, let's do a busking show together. We formed this group called Annoying Brothers and we went to the street and did a show. I also run Buskers Association as the co-chairperson. We are trying to advocate for busker, try to create more conversation with stakeholders and talking to like the National Arts Council and hopefully one day we can get busking to be recognised as one of the major street culture in Singapore. To to start the game, each player will draw 5 question cards from the deck. Players will then take turns choosing a question card from their hand to ask the opponent. Players will also be given 3 action cards each, where they can skip, switch or spill at any point of time. For skip, you skip the question. Switch, get your opponent to answer instead. Spill, you get to ask a follow-up question. Jonathan will have a fun time <laughs> trying to answer them. You think I'm up to the challenge of no, answering problem. those questions? No problem, these are questions that you can answer for wow. sure. Wow, yeah. thanks. What is the largest amount of money you've received while oh, busking? Oh wow, okay. It, it seems like a lot because like the amount, but like if you count like sometimes like if it rains or if there's no peak period, all this money is the one that we continue living off for the next maybe three months. Wow, so many disclaimers. Yeah. We just want to know the largest <laughs> amount. I would say it's around 1.5, 1 1.6. 1 ah, okay, okay, around okay. there like, I think. That day, uh, there's zero lah because rainy day. And sometimes the mum like they will hold the kids along and say my kids really enjoy your show. That's why like I think like this is what you're worth lah. So I'm going to use switch because you need to answer it too. Okay, so for me the most I've made in a day is 900 plus. Mm. That was like pretty close to Christmas. Yeah. One of the best times to busk. How do you react to busking? Is not a real job. There's no future. I feel that is completely untrue. I thought it'd be really hard to make a living off busking. But once I started, right, I realised that if you got some talent, like, if you're actually good at what you do, and then you like put in the hours and the hard work, like, you definitely can like, make a living out of it. It's like no question, as long as you work hard. To me, it's just like any other job, that if you dedicate yourself to it, then it can be done. Pro tip for someone who is considering to bask. Number one tip is, get a good amplifier. Yes! Your amplifier is the one that will draw the crowd because if you sound very muffled, they get annoyed. Right? So one, good amplifier. Second, good, uh, get a sign. Your contact, your information, your QR code. Who are you? Have a sign there telling everyone. So busking is really, uh, you're, you're running a company like that. You're, you have to be in charge of exactly. marketing, everything. Third, presentation. For me, my costume is always the red and white stripes. So from far, right, people know it's my show. It's very important for us buskers to present ourselves well because like, you see people have this impression that like buskers is a lower tier, yeah. right? People don't really take buskers seriously. So like, we have to take ourselves seriously first. Yeah. We present like, level up our, our act. Uh. And then we become the global model for busking. Wow, that would be amazing. <laughs> True or false? Anyone can be a busker as it has a low entry barrier. I would say yes and no. I would think anyone can be a busker. You would have to put in the effort and the yeah, hours to a lot. at least pass the audition first because to get a permit to bask here, you do have to go through an audition. Mm. So it's not literally anyone. <laughs> to a certain extent, if you go through the audition, it's easy. Mm. But once you go to the street, it's a different game again. It's like you take your mm. driving license, uh, you do circuit, you do the test. But once you go into the real road, uh, you realise, wow, I've got this kind of driver's yeah. and I cut you, yeah. all this kind of thing. I would say a lot of people who go into basking in Singapore, right? never actually think that Expected it, they right? want to make a living yeah. out of it. It was like, oh, I go because I love singing or But because they got so bu successful in busking, they started thinking like, hey, this career is actually not yeah. bad. I'm very excited to hear what you'll be saying <laughs> about this. Are there any turf wars? <laughs> I started this Facebook group called Singapore Buskers because of all these reasons. In the past, everyone was like, 
just staring at each other, having stared down like you see that busker coming to take my space. I wallop him and tell wow. <laughs> that kind of thing. Like they do get into like Not horrors. Everyone. Now it's more of hello police. <laughs> There's someone uh, illegally basking. The police come out and they clear the person. That person take over the yeah. spot. There is one basker who actually created a WhatsApp group to pay people to yeah, call the police. Literally. On Why do they call the police? They because they're freaking jealous. <laughs> they don't get the damn spot. <laughs> Triggered. The police are quite nice, one, like, I would say. Yeah. No, they actually even know what's going on. They know, yeah. like, oh, this guy keep calling yeah. us. We <laughs> no choice. We have to do this check. Yeah. Tell us an embarrassing moment when basking. I don't really have it. Eh. It's just Tao Xia, oh. That's the worst thing. <laughs> This is kind of embarrassingly depressing also. <laughs> oh. That was my first time basking. La. So, super overconfident. Went down the street, turned on our music. People start to gather. We start our act only. One person walk away. Another oh, person man. walk away. Everybody start to walk away. And then you know what's the worst part? It started raining. Oh, man. It was so bad right that like my partner and I, right, we totally just stop basking for the next three hours. But I tell you, that was the most defining moment for us also because I think if we didn't go back to the street on that day, right, you won't be seeing me talking about basking today. For anyone who wants to go basking, like these are the things that you have to be, la, like really thick skin. Like you really have to be so resilient because nobody else will help you. When will you say that you've made it? I would say like, we don't really ever made it. Like if you I just mean. say like, I'm successful, you, you kind of just say, okay, I don't need to continue growing anymore. And I believe like with basking, things are always changing. Like you see mm. now COVID, how do we change? I for one don't really like virtual basking, but I did it. I did so much, a lot of things and like during this period of training and all this, I tend to just say, okay, I'm at this stage. Where's the next point? How can you get better? Yeah. Because for us, we like are actually passionate about what we yeah. do. And then we always think of like how to make our act better. Yeah. There's never an end, like, it's a journey, like, especially when it comes to passion. As cliche yeah. as it sounds, it's the journey, not yeah. the destination. <laughs> what was your most memorable basking moment? There was a time I was basking in Melbourne. Yep. Then like, uh, got this girl kissed me. It was just interesting. And then in Melbourne also, um, there's this guy, he wanted to perform. And then he looked a bit drunk. Uh, but then I had a crowd. I didn't want to be a spoiled sport. I was like, okay, have a go at the mic. And then like, I let him sing like two songs and then he didn't want to give my guitar back. And then like, there was a guy in the crowd seeing that I'm having difficulties. He go and call the cops for me. Yeah. Then like, yeah, I got my guitar back. I also got kissed by a girl. Oh. Yeah, but like, it's not in Singapore. It's, it's always overseas. Yeah, it's always overseas. Yeah. She just screamed, put money in, and then like, she just pulled me back, hugged me, and then mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm like, oh shit. Wow, I didn't get that many. <laughs> I just won only. What is the most important life lesson that you have learned from basking? Just do it. Like Nike says, uh, like, uh, not sponsored by Nike. <laughs> you see, when COVID happened, mm. we say, like, yo, this doesn't work. Or like, we just feel like we're damn rusty, we don't want to go bust. I so long never talked to my crowd, really. Mm. What will happen if I screw just up? Like, lost what? touch a little bit. Yeah, I, it took me three days just to get back like my script. And when I did it, I think it's just warming up. Like five minutes yeah. into the script, people watching me, what the... You get into the zone, right? Yeah, you get into the zone, right? Like, everything, like even for the new buskers, a lot of them, right? I think it's the fear of failure or the fear yeah, of embarrassment. embarrassment. You just have to do it, then you know how it feels. It's because you're in public, right? You feel yeah. a bit more... Like, I guess, conscious. I guess you just have to like put down your ego a bit lah. Yeah. What does your family think about your job? Okay, so at first right, busking was never a job wa, Cause I started just for fun right. So, my parents were like supportive lah. Hey, this guy just doing nothing at home. At least now he's going out and like <laughs> making a few dollars. Of course like me letting them know that I want to do music and I want to busk as my main source of income would worry them ah. But then, they have been very supportive thus far because every time I come back home with like all my coins and my notes, like they straight away start <laughs> counting with me. So I think that the amount I've been making reassured them somewhat. Uh. What is the weirdest token someone has given you for busking? Okay, in Singapore, right, very conservative one, but the weirdest one is a holy bible in my head. Wow. When I went to Europe, people throw condom inside, throw wow. beer inside, all kinds of things. Hard liquor also can give me one because loose is cheap in Europe. Uh. You got any weird ones? I got numbers. Numbers? <laughs> A few of them are. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing progress. Nothing, uh, nothing much. Uh. Uh, I gained a fan. Uh. Wow, this one is ask anything you want. Uh, wow. <laughs> what is one thing that you'd like to change about the current busking scheme in Singapore? I like how like this is the, the last question that I have. Huh, really? <laughs> you actually ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you switch without using the card switch. This is next level. <laughs> change sound like 
everything is bad. But I don't think everything is bad. I feel like uh, there are more things that we can contribute right now. Like a lot of things we are always saying, hey, us council need to do this, us council needs to do that. I mean like, and when it comes to licensing, of course they need to do that. But we are not helping them by, like this is our hand, this is their hand. They put it here, but we don't want to clap it. At the same time, sometimes it's the other way around. Right. So we hope that like, you know, both sides can contribute enough and both sides is willing to listen to one another. So we answered the last question by, by like combining. Wait, you have one more question? I got one more. What is the most satisfying part of this job? It's the intimacy and how the audience react to my show that keeps me basking. You can do like virtual performances, yeah. like live streams, all that, but you don't feel that connection being as real as if you're down there yeah. with the crowd that you are entertaining. Yeah. Especially when there are like no seats or steps, right? People stand there for yeah. you, eh? And sometimes like your performance actually means so much to the people watching. You just feel so fulfilled lah, that you're yeah. making their day better. There was this lady, she watched my show. Then like I saw her Insta story, everything. Then like at midnight, she messaged uh, me lah. She said like, thank you for your show. And then she said she actually felt like there's nothing to live for already today. And she said it was because of my show, she smiled for the first time in the whole of the last few months. And oh. you can feel like, wow, yeah. my hand like, was stand when I read it. I don't know what's happening, but like at least I know like there's one day someone like this actually watched my show and realized like there's more to live in this world. And COVID made me treasure basking so oh, much more. Yes. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I just regret, wow, if I, I knew this was going to happen, then like in 2019, I would bust like crazy, but Same. you know, <laughs> it was good. Uh. These are very specific questions. We could like uh, put our thoughts even more in depth. Uh. Actually, these are conversations we've already had yeah. prior to this. Like, this is what we always talk about. Yeah. So, I guess it's a good thing that we can air our concerns to like And let everyone the world know how, well. how it feels yeah. as a busker. Thanks for watching us on this episode of Spill It. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye. And see us on the street. <laughs>